Peace and love, family. What's up, baby? It is none other than your boy Jay Giddens, the father. As usual, remember to be positive, be optimistic, and keep positive people in your circle as those three things are key to ensuring positivity is invited in your future. Man. So, I'm just jumping on here. Um, I'm just jumping on here so that, uh, what's up, broski? What's up, Damon? What's up, bro? Oh, what's up, bro? What's up, real bro? About to get a little bit of <laughs> shout out to the shout out to the great street pharmacist over at Rice's Town Road Plaza. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the Rice's Town Road Plaza street pharmacist. <laughs> nah, man. Uh, peace and love, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, I just got good. I just, I just was great. Roll up, man, and I just jumped on here um, to see who, jump, who, who come into the live. <clears throat> I want to say to everybody, man. I want to say to y'all, look to anybody who this might get through to who watched this back. You're not crazy, man. Like you're not crazy. Like there's a lot of people out here who fuck with your brain, bro. Like they, they say stuff that they know is not true, and they just. They just want you to believe it or buy into it, you know? Like the whole, you know, LGBTQ, ABCDID. Love you too, bro. Love you too, bro. One love. Like the whole movement, like that whole movement, bro, is a lie that they just want you to buy into. Like there are people in your personal lives who do this and it'll fuck with you. I want to say to all of my men out there, bro, women will fuck with your head, bro, and you're not crazy, bro. They do shit like... Like, make things that... And it's not just a woman thing. I'm not trying to say it like only women do it, but narcissistic people, bro. I did a live earlier where I was talking about narcissistic people. And I just want to remind my brothers out there, because we the ones who typically go through this a lot. You know, you're not crazy. You know, a lot of our women, they will take something that's nothing and make it something. And a lot of times, just because of, you know, either uh, childhood trauma or it's because of, like, just the way that their brain has been wired to deal with struggles. So a lot of people, you know, we got to remember that we're all being taught <clears throat> every day with everything that we do, right? So a lot of people, like, every time that they're faced with something that's so hard for them, the way that they get out of it is to cry or to act like, mm, to pout and stuff like that, right? This is what a lot of women do, especially girls who don't have their fathers or who are seeking male attention, the way that they know to get male attention is to, you know, to be uh, uh, crying and shit, right? So you got a, a lot of women out here that literally use their weeping and their sadness to, to take advantage of guys. So I want to say to my guys out there, y'all, you not crazy. What these women do is they'll take something little. So like, let's say y'all got a baby together, right? This your typical baby mama drama, how they do fucked up shit to you that fuck with you, my fathers out there. You know, let's say y'all got a baby and they ask you to make a bottle and you go make the bottle, right? And then they be like, well, you don't never make no bottle for the baby. And you like, all right, my bad. I'm, I'm going to go to make the bottle. Yeah, whatever. It don't fucking matter. You know what I'm saying? And you like, all right, well, you know, they'll take something like that and turn it into a whole argument behind it. Like, and you'll be sitting there screaming. What the fuck? I said I'll make the fuck a bottle. Uh, and she, well, why the fuck I even got asked you? Like, yo, because the fuck I ain't know to make it, but I'll make it. Like, you know, as guys, we be just trying to to piece the shit together to make it make sense. Like, we be like, yo, why the fuck is you mad? Like, all right, I'll do it. And they just be, well, well, I don't know why I had to ask you. Well, why when I asked you, you said this? Well, I don't want it. And they'll take these little things and they don't necessarily lie, but they will stretch the shit out of the truth like you know what i'm saying and create these perspectives that throw you off so without going to, into too much specific depth i just want to make a blanket statement to my men out there just to say hold yourself together king um and just understand that it's not a personal attack on you we all have <clears throat> we all have trauma you know what i'm saying i guess if i was to say anything i would i would say that to people like we all have trauma you know what I'm saying? We all have the um, we all have the unfortunate circumstance where you feel me? We all have the unfortunate circumstance where there's something that somebody was doing to us. You know what I'm saying? 
What you say, bro? You said, well, we shouldn't have to ask. <laughs> well, we shouldn't have to ask. We both know the baby has to eat, right? Hey, look, Diamond and Mortician, first of all, I want to say kudos to you for listening to me. At least you actually considered my opinion and you ain't say, fuck this nigga, he don't know what he's talking about, which is what I would expect from <laughs> a narcissistic woman. So kudos to you for that. So to answer you like, I mean, I guess you shouldn't have to. They both are our kids, but at the end of the day, you know, what I think a lot of the problem with relationships are, are is that both of us, um, you said they restart your life. I don't know if they did or not. But a lot a lot of the issue I think is that we both have to consider each other's perspectives. You know what I'm saying? Like like women have to do a better job at understanding what men go through. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you can't just expect us to be able to be level headed all the time. Like I think that you should and I think that that is ideal, but I think reality is not that. Like the same way like a lot of women believe that they can wear whatever they want and they shouldn't have to cover their self up for nobody and blah, blah, blah. But reality is a nigga will track you down and rape you and you got to live with that trauma for the rest of your life just so you can say, I wear whatever I want to wear. Now you got trauma for the rest of your life from a nigga raping you and beating the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? But you just so you could say, I wear what I want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All just so you could do that. Like, Okay, whatever. I guess if you want to risk that, like, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't risk that shit, but if that's what you want to do. But I think that we got to understand that there's things that men know and things, perspectives that men have that women are just incapable of perceiving. Like, they just have to understand that. Like, bro, there's things that we think that you just not going to get and you not supposed to because you not me and, and, and I'm supposed to be able to hunt you. You know what I'm saying? Like, men supposed to hunt women. We all understand this, right? Men are supposed to hunt women. You know what I'm saying? Like, we supposed to be on the hunt for them. When I see you, I'm supposed to get attracted to you. That's normal. Like, like what the fuck? We've been trained to believe when you see a girl and you like, damn, yo, you supposed to be like, oh, oh, oh. like, nigga, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? My issue is I got to vet every girl because I got to, you know, make sure that these girls are going to be able to raise a baby because if you can't raise a baby, ain't shit I could do with you, shorty. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't trying to raise a baby with me, then you need to go to fuck here somewhere. Ain't nobody got time to be playing around and shit. I'm trying to bring beings into the world. You feel me? But, 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 like I said, at the end of the day, <clears throat> you know, the feminine energy has to respect the the masculine and vice versa. You know, we as men, we gotta understand that there's sometimes when a woman speak and she say that you gotta just do it. You know what I'm saying? It's not because she got more power over you. It's not because she tougher enough, and it's just because. In order for her to understand her role in your kingdom, you have to dictate to her what her role is. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is a part of being a king. We run everything. Even when they think that we don't, we do. We run everything. We the king. You know what I'm saying? And she not supposed to know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, she ain't supposed to know that because that's not her position. She don't go kinging. You know what I'm saying? She go queen. And this shit we don't know about that they know. You know what I'm saying? That queen's talking about. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> we have to train the minds of our goddesses, our queens, to be what we envision our queens being. And trust and believe she doing the same motherfucking thing. I guarantee you, nigga, because she ain't about to let you just do whatever you want. That's for sure. You know what I'm saying? You try you try to sneak out on a late night or you try to do something wild like that. Oh, oh, your God is going to let you know, nigga, is you out your mind? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Who you think I am? <laughs> she going to check you real quick. And, and that's shaping you. That's programming you to make sure that you know not to jump out of line and be, and, be, and, be, and be moving a certain way with her. She's making sure that you know, like, nigga, don't try that with me. Don't even think you're going to do that with me. So you got to let her know as a queen, like, I am a king and you will treat me as such. Like, you know what I'm saying? I will not tolerate certain disrespect. And it's because I respect you enough that I'm not going to violate certain things. So it's, it's it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I need you to respect my strength so much to know that it means nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody walking around with a gun, but they can't shoot you. So them having that gun really holds no weight to you because it's like, by law, they can't shoot you. You know, that's kind of like universal law. Like, by law, the masculine energy cannot hurt the feminine energy. Like, that's not what we're supposed to be doing. So regardless of how strong I am, how I want to say I'm the boss, I dictate, you know, I cannot hurt my, my, my feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't call yourself a king if you're hurting your queen. Like, 
at that point you're no longer a king because by definition that's not what a king does that's you know what i'm saying it's like it's like saying somebody can cheat on you like technically somebody can't cheat on you because at the moment that they sleep with somebody else they was no longer yours like that was you know what i'm saying that was the um it's so crazy i got janelle and falana in here and y'all two remind me of each other so much i think about y'all in the same kind of perspective um but um but yeah like i said you know um and i and i really admire a queen and or like a goddess who is capable of perceiving the value of a king of a god of a man you know what i'm saying like when a woman is able to perceive the value of a man like it's very attractive to me like it make me want to get you pregnant like to be real with you like you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be real with you. Like, when you look at me and you could tell what I am and what I have to offer, like, I really want to put a baby in you. Like, I want to make a baby with you. <laughs> you probably should get the fuck away from me. <laughs> it's like, nah, I'm just, but, but I'm saying, like, real shit, that's the only thing that I think about. Like, I don't even be thinking, like, you know how most guys, I want to have sexual, I'm trying to get some pussy. Like, I just be thinking about, yo, I want to procreate. Like, I really want to create babies and I want to raise them right. I want other people who know how to think um, to raise them with me. You say you, I don't know. You say you cheat yourself for looking for a so-called special relationship. We came here to travel and explore, not to be attached to Roman ways. You ain't you ain't lying, right? You ain't lying. They don't know about they don't know about Rome. They don't know about the fact that monogamy ain't ain't us. Like you know what I'm saying? All of that, like she said, is Roman. You know what I'm saying? Roman and Regis. Y'all know about them? They the twins. Y'all know Rome was named after somebody named Rome, Romulus, right? How many people know about the story of Romulus? See, I know a little bit. I be studying and shit. I just don't be talking about it. But y'all know Rome is named after two brothers named Romulus and, Re and, Re and Regis, I believe. And Romulus killed his brother. That's why he got Rome named after him. He, na he named Rome after him because he didn't want his brother to be remembered. And, um, and you know, that, that city of Rome, it, 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 is, it is how you... It is how the Greeks and the Romans separated. See, a lot of people don't even know the difference between Greeks and Romans. They the same motherfuckers. But like what happened was the the the, the brother Romulus or whatever, he 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 hated his brother so much that he just created his own shit and was like, yo, call this Rome and nobody better not say my brother name or it's off with your fucking head. And then you had people that disagree with that. You know what I'm saying? It was like, eh, it's just like religion, bro. Like these 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 beings that came to our planet, bro, they have so many levels of division amongst themselves. They got division within religion. Religion is a divisive engine in itself. But, you know, the Greek and Rome thing is just further evidence of their own, you know what I'm saying, division within one another and why they're, they're unable to achieve the level of peace that we had before we were introduced to them. Because a lot of the things that we know, all of this black crime and black violence and all of this stuff that we know, we was taught this stuff by Caucasoids. And we didn't have this stuff pre uh, previous to them getting here. You know what I'm saying? Like the true original gangsters or, you know what I'm saying, violent motherfuckers and all of that is Caucasoids. Like they, they actually made us that way. We was not like that. We were very peaceful, loving beings. And I say that because this is what was said on the account of their people. So there's certain people if y'all are familiar with, like Abel Tasman, which is who Tasmania is is named after. For those who don't know, Abel Tasman, and they and they got the term Tasmanian Devil from that nigga because he was going through there murdering every black person he saw, and they called them the Tas they called him the Tasmanian Devil. That's Abel Tasman, right? Then you also had uh, look my brother putting the hundreds. He know what's up, facts. And then you also had Cook, right? You had you had Mr. Cook. Um, and then you had um, fucking, what's the other one that went through Hawaii? Well, I think that might have been James Cook, yeah. And, you know, he, he went and took one of the people from Hawaii, one of our people from Hawaii, and got them to go with him to the islands to, to get good blessings from all of the islands because they were seeing him with black people. Same shit they doing now with your politicians and your celebrities, right? He was coming to the islands with the black people saying, hey, look, we're friends. And then they telling them he's friends. And then they snake niggas and kill niggas. You know what I'm saying? But they said themselves in their um, memoirs, right? Because if you look up their memoirs, M-E-M-O-I-R-S, right? If you read the memoirs of, what's the one that they fake like found America? Christopher Columbus. If you, if you read the memoirs of Christopher Columbus, by the way, America was actually found by his cousin, which was Amerigo Vespucci, who was a 
a guy that was a terrorist. Uh, he was a terror. He went around fucking exploring, a.k.a. destroying, pillaging, and, t- pillaging and taking shit. But anyway, um, uh, what was I saying? Um, Amerigo Vespucci. No, who they said? Oh, Christopher Columbus said in his memoirs that when he came to the islands, he saw a bunch of people that all looked the same. They was all the same color. They was all the same, like, shape. They all, like, seemed like they was all one. Like, you know, he was saying, and even when, he said even when he went there and he was trying to get them to divide stuff up and say, this is mine, this is mine, this is yours, they told him, we don't own things here. Everything is everybody's. The planet gives us everything. And and, and he actually said that they had to teach they had to teach the people there, the black people, they had to teach them to own stuff. Like they had to teach them to say the word I and, and, and identify with them being different than everybody else. They had to teach them that and give them a name, give them something that would make them identify themselves differently than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And then they had to teach them to stop multiplying with each other because they was just multiplying like crazy. So that's when they came out with monogamy, which was created by Socrates and all of them niggas that followed it up. But that's when they was like, yo, y'all can only mess with one girl, yo. They told they told the guys, because y'all know we can produce thousands of sperm cells a day, right? So we could populate a whole planet. But they say, yo, you niggas is too powerful. You niggas better get with one girl, yo. And don't be making babies with nobody else, yo. Stay with her. You know what I'm saying? And then they start making Roman movies. What we call it? Romance movies, which is what? Roman. That's all Roman. So romance, romantic, all of that is Roman because they are monogamous. They believe in monogamy. They believe in, actually, they believe they believe in the fact that there's no love greater than that between two men. That's actually literally what the slogan of Greek uh, fraternizing was. You know what I'm saying? That's what the frat, the, frat, the fraternity is about, the fr- fraternal brothers and all that shit. So that's why I think it's so crazy that a lot of our brothers is into this frat shit because they don't even, a lot of them really don't know the history and they don't know like that they, they've they been kind of, you know, they they kind of like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's like if, it's like if, if a rival gang, you know, killed all of your family last year and then you join that gang and then you find out that that's the gang that did that to your family, how you move now. It's like that type of situation, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, how you gonna move once you know that now? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Janelle, I wanna speak on... I wanna speak on what happened. I wanna speak on what happened with you, but I'm gonna do a separate live for that because I'm gonna tag Papa John's and I wanna try to bring as much attention to it as I can in Baltimore. Because for real, for real, I be dashing and I be in the businesses and shit like that. And I strongly disagree with what you what you experience. See, I was in the customer service slash sales and customer retention field and division for about fifteen years. You know what I'm saying? I used to do a lot of a lot of managing and working along leadership teams. And when people have experiences like the one that you describe, it makes me want to do everything that I can to hold that that place accountable and make sure that the people who are in position to set the rules that dictate the way the store is operating are aware. And they they need to give a statement. You know what I'm saying? Like for what you um what's up Los Pablos? One love to you. For what you going through or for what you went through, there's no way that shouldn't there shouldn't be somebody with Papa John's at a high level who is who is able to come out and say, hey listen, this is not the type of stuff we support. Or hey, this is what we support. You know what I'm saying? Dyke. That's what they let that's what I was saying in my video. Papa John's, you need to come out and call her that and let everybody know that that's what you want to call her and that's how you look at this young lady because you are supporting these dudes doing it. You know what I'm saying? I want their location. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna record and be like, yo, this is the location that I heard was doing XYZ from one of the people that follow me was saying this. And like I would expect anybody to get behind it who supports what we're talking about. Because if you was my sister, I'd have hit you in his mouth. Like, we wouldn't even be having this conversation right now. Like, if you, even as when you sent me to, for those who don't know, you know, uh, my homie Janelle sent me a message letting me know, like, what happened with her. Y'all gonna know because I'm gonna go live about it. But when you sent it to me, I was thinking to myself, like, you know, shit, it's a good thing we wasn't closer. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, me and you wasn't closer in terms of our relationship or something because I would have been like, what store? Okay, I'm on my way down there. And I would have been like, who was working? All right? And I would have went down there and be like, excuse me, I need to know who was working on this day. Who Who's the white boys who like to talk about nigga and all of that to my sister? Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, I, I just feel like somebody should be there. And I don't know if maybe you don't have somebody in that position. I mean, I did hear you say you got, you know what I'm saying? But I, listen, at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm just bringing light to the fact that it, it's not okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's not okay for, for us to pretend that it's okay or to not sound the alarm off on it because this is this is the shit that this is the shit this is the the snowball you know what i'm saying that 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 leads to an avalanche you know what i'm saying this is the the inch that leads to a mile that motherfuckers take because they they start off with with playing around like that thinking they could play with you and then and then they want to do some crazy shit i just saw a video recently with a you know, a black guy that had a bunch of white friends in a frat group or whatever, and they killed him. You know what I'm saying? They was playing with him, hazing him, right? But they killed him. And the thing about it is, they was his good friends. I'm pretty sure he would have fought for them. He, If if, if somebody would have even came to him and told him that they might do that, he would have fought. Like, they're my friends. Don't don't you say that. We're all one people. But he would have did all of that. Because he doesn't understand the level of physiology, psychology, and the mentality that beings have as it relates to their genealogy. Like at the end of the day, this isn't about who's nice or who's, you know, it's about like, like, like if a dog bites you, right? If it's a pit bull <sighs> and you put your hand in front of his mouth and he bites you, is the dog mean? Like, what are we talking about? Is the dog a bad dog? Like, what the, it's a dog. Like, what the hell? It bites people. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You out of pocket for, 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 for throwing off the balance of life by putting yourself in a position where you out of position. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, fish have gills. You know what I'm saying? Things that, that breathe air have lungs. Like, you know what I'm saying? You go up and they go under the water. The, the universe puts things where they go. When you violate that, then, then, then shit get fucked up. You drown, nigga. That's what happened. You drown <laughs> when, when you violate that. So what you think going to happen when you want to violate that up here? Like, this is what we got going on. And people just don't understand nature. They don't understand that there's things that existed before white people created everything for you. Like this, this is what our people, this is what our people don't get, bro. They think white people made everything. <laughs> our people think white people made the sun, nigga, the moon, time, nigga. They did make time because time is fake. There's no such thing as time. Time is a group of numbers that a guy made up, specifically Pope the Fifth. You know what I'm saying? In 1583, you can look that up. Before him, it was Julius Caesar who made it up with the, the, the Julius calendar. And before that, they was using the solar calendar and the lunar calendar. And they was basing it off of astrology, which is what actual time is. There's no such thing as time. There's only age. There's only the, the growth and the reaction of chemicals, which is what you would call age, right? You would measure something by how formed the chemicals are at a quantum level. So quantum physics is actually time, technically. Like if you were to, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't measure how old a person is by time. Like, you know what I'm saying? You measure how old a person is by how how degraded the atoms are in their body. Like, you know what I'm saying? What level the carbon is at. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's how you would measure it. But niggas don't think like that because motherfucking Pope told you to think like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock and shit. But anyway... Um, not to go off on a tangent, I was just saying, um, I forgot what I was saying at this point. Now I'm getting back to how I used to be on this motherfucker trying, trying to always act like I know something and shit. My apologies, y'all. I don't be, I don't be wanting to do that. I just be sometimes, I'm, I'm kind of an old man, man. Y'all know I'm almost 40, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no such thing as time, but you know what I'm saying? I'm getting up there, so I'm getting to that point where I like to, rawr, 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 goddamn, fuck you, do? Look at the, look at the. The cat drinking milk out the boat. Get out the boat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm getting in my, I'm getting in my in my era of life where I'm starting to be like that, bro. You go outside, you just stand by the door, just look around. The hell is birds on the power lines for? And what the hell is these little bugs crawling around? What is a damn water bug? Is it water in it? Why they call it a water bug? It don't even be in the water. It's sunny outside. What the hell is going on? You just be, you know what I'm saying? You just find yourself. 
You know what? Janelle, Janelle said a little grumpy, me too. I mean, the thing about it is, bruh, because it's like, yo, it's like, it's like deep down inside, we all got this voice saying, yo, I'm so fucking tired of this shit, ain't y'all? <laughs> We wake up, we go outside, we look around, we like, yo, I can't be the only motherfucker <laughs> who like, again, yo? <laughs> like, I mean, it was just Tuesday, it's Wednesday now, again, another Wednesday, bro? It, this is like the 40th Wednesday. <laughs> fuck. It be like, bro, fuck, yo, like, God damn, yo. Like, y'all niggas want to do this? You go, look, you go into work, you like, man, how you doing? Man, I don't want to fucking be here. I know, right? A whole nother fucking eight hours. Yeah, man, this shit crazy. They got us doing this shit. I know, yo. <sighs> All right, man, I'm going to catch you later. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, damn. We just going to keep it up, man. You know what I'm saying? Then I, Listen, you know what annoyed the fuck out of me? She said, not another Wednesday. Yes. What annoyed the hell out of me, right, is 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 when I see these kids, man. Because I get, she said, I appreciate you and I love when you do your um, teaching lives. I appreciate that. I try not to do too much because people be running away when I start, like, talking like I know something. And I get it because some people act like they know everything. So it make people, it turn people off. They like, yo, this nigga think he know everything. Fuck him. <laughs> and I get where they coming from. That's why I don't like when it be people that, that act like they know everything. They don't ever want to listen to you. They just want to talk and act like they got all the answers. Like, them kind of people, they the reason people won't listen to me. Because people listen to me and be like, oh, here you go. Another one of them niggas that think they know everything. I don't think I know everything. I just ran into some shit that I do know, and I want to tell you about it. <laughs> like, like if you if you know more than I know, or you don't, if you know something about what I know that I don't know, like, tell me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't one of them niggas that be like, no, I know. Okay, here's an example that I always use, okay? Black people do not have melanin. We all know this, right? I mean, a lot of us know this. Some of us just scared to say it because it's a whole wave and you don't want to be the one to fall off the boat while the wave going. But but black people don't have melanin. That doesn't make any sense. There's nothing you're going to look up that's going to tell you that. Black people, white people have melanin. Caucasoids and animals have melanin. Black people have carbon. But this is one of those things, like I said, it's one of them things where I would never be like, You'll never see a post where I'm like, yo, they talking about we got melanin. That's dumb, blah, blah, blah. I don't do that. Like, there's people who say to me, what's up, yo, melanin, blah, blah, blah. They say, and I be like, hey, no problem, bro. I'm not going to be like, bro, we don't have melanin. Why are you saying that? I'm not going to do that. Like, why? Why are we sitting there doing that? Who cares? I don't want to fight you. I do want you to know better, though. Because the, the fact that you don't know that black people don't have melanin is why you don't know that you can connect to the sun and get power. Because if you think you got melanin, you ain't connecting to a motherfucking thing, nigga. Melanin fight the sun, nigga. <laughs> melanin and the sun is at odds, nigga. They not friends. <laughs> what is she talking about? <laughs> nigga, niggas be like, yo, I got melanin. Nigga, the sun is on a hunt for melanin, nigga. The sun looking for you, nigga. <laughs> if you got melanin, you better watch your back, nigga. You better hope your melanin on 10 so you can protect yourself from that UV, nigga. Because melanin get destroyed by UV. That's why it gets darker. That's why it gets darker under the sun because it's trying to it's trying to condense the atoms to protect itself from the UV rays. It's called UVGI. It's called ultraviolet germicidal irradiation. Look up what UVGI does to melanin. So if you believe that you have melanin and you're an organic being from this planet, why would the sun be trying to hurt you, bro? Like, why would the sun be trying to hurt you? Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have that shit. But anyway, what I'm saying is I'm not going to sit there and fight with people and, and jump in their lives and be like, yo, why are you saying that? That, that? That's not what we're here for. You know what I'm saying? So, but, but because other people do it, people would think I'm one of them and shit. Like, I even stopped talking about shit because I'm like, yo, I don't want people to think I'm just like everybody else. Because like, there's a lot of people out here that be teaching, but they just be on some other shit. They be on some, like, trying to be cocky and they just want attention shit. Like... You know what I'm saying? Like, they try and use information to, to get famous and shit. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Niggas out here trying to... Yeah, yo, so you know, CME stands for coronal mass ejections, and corona actually means sun, crown of the sun. So, you know, the diameter of the sun is actually equal to 144, and that's why they're talking about this being a divine number. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, so what do you, what do you want us to bow to you now, nigga? Like, what the fuck? This is something that anybody who read the shit you read would know. Like, why the fuck you think you special? You know what I'm saying? You got certain niggas out here. I ain't gonna say their names because I don't want nobody to think I'm, you know what I'm saying? But certain niggas out here, people worship them like they gods or something. Like, nigga, they read a book. 
So the fuck what? <laughs> Read the same book and you're going to know what they know. These niggas is not special. And half the time, they don't know half the shit I know. That's why I be looking at this shit like, yo, this is crazy. I studied that shit three years ago. You know what I'm saying? And I still remember enough to know that they don't know what they talking about. Because anytime you're talking about subject matter as it relates to science, bro, and you're talking about biochemistry, if you're talking about a chemical, you need to know what replenishes that chemical, what that chemical needs in order to create energy and ATP for it and all that kind of stuff, right? So when you're talking about stuff like amino acids, proteins, melanin, right, you have to know what backs these things up. One of the things, as I told my brother when I was telling him the science behind how you know we don't have no fucking melanin, what, one of the things that melanin depends on is called tyrosine. And if you knew what tyrosine was, you would know that tyrosine comes from goat milk, goat cheese, eggs, turkey. Nigga, everything that was created in a lab is where tyrosine come from. Coincidence, huh? You know what I'm saying? Now, why niggas out here telling everybody got melanin, but you don't know that? That's my thing. Like, yo, how you don't know that? Like, you making, you out here really like saying it. You, you being hard for, yeah, that melanin. How you don't know what replenishes it in your body? How much studying did you do on it? I did a two-hour lecture on melanin, bro, explaining, breaking down the quantum levels of how it works in your actual core. Like when you, when you, when you, when you have a germ, you have a germ layer, because there's something called the the melanocyte, which is in the germ layer, the neural crest, right? When the, when it's being created, when the embryo is being created, we're talking about embryonic stages. Like how how are people supposed to be in positions where? I'm supposed to listen to you talk about shit, bro, and you can't speak on this level with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas, I, it's even people that some of y'all look up to. <laughs> like, I talk to them, and I'm like, oh, shit, this the guy I talk to. Him. I'm like, yo, what what you saying? What you mean you you don't know that we don't have melon? I just be like, oh, my God. So that means there's so many other things that I heard you say you know that I got a question now because you you saying that black, I'm, I'm giving y'all the sauce. Anybody who tell you that black people don't have, that black people have melanin, you already know there's a couple things they don't know. <laughs> Number one, melanin requires tyrosine in order for it to reproduce in your body. And tyrosine comes from acidic things that the sun kill. They don't know that. So anybody that, anybody, listen, you already know. Anybody who tell you black people got melanin, you already know they don't know that. They don't know what tyrosine is. You can ask them. Watch what happened. Uh, Tyrus. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm saying it's pie. It's pie, Lord. What, nigga? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's what Dr. Sebi was saying, bro. That's why Dr. Sebi didn't even want to do interviews and stuff because he was, he was stepping on people's toes and he didn't even want to. Like Dr. Layla Africa, him and Dr. Layla Africa had a little back and forth, and he forfeited because he was like, I don't want to embarrass him. Like he actually literally said because Dr. Layla Africa is one of those African doctors who people follow, and he got a big following, and he preaches melanin. And he asked Dr. Sebi to come on a show with him and say that black people have melanin. And Dr. Sebi was like, hell no. Why would I say that? I don't know what the fuck melanin is. We don't even know what that shit is. That shit don't exist in the forest or on our planet. The sun killed that. Why would I talk about melanin? And Dr. Layla Africa was like, you have to tell people, you know, come on, you have to agree with me, blah, blah. He was like, bro, I'm not doing that because there's no science to support what you're saying. And Dr. Layla Africa went on and, and started talking about melanin anyway. Dr. Sebi didn't speak on it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And let me, oh, yeah. Look, somebody said you smoke woods. Let me let everybody know real quick. Cigars are not safe, okay? I want y'all to know that these things have something called carcinogens, okay? Carcinogens are little cancer-creating cancer creating atoms that go in and instruct your genes to self-destruct. That's what carcinogenic atoms do, okay? Or carcinogenic atoms do. They go in and they tell your body to delete itself through a process called um, uh, uh, cellular respiration, right? So there's cellular respiration and then there is, um, uh, what is it called, bro? What is it called where your body kills off the, um, I forgot what it's called. I, I talked about it in the lecture, but there's a process where your body replaces the dead cells with new cells that perform better and kills the old ones. This is actually what makes us immortal. So I'm saying all of this because my guilty conscience came up when my brother asked me, um, do I smoke woods or why do I smoke? Uh, he said, you smoke woods with a question mark. So I felt obligated for anybody who's watching to be able to explain to you that I am not in support of you smoking these. And I do not think that this is healthy. And in no way or, 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 or um, in no way 
would I be surprised if you got cancer from smoking these? Because this is what this does to you, okay? <clears throat> now, that being said, I think that everybody should do everything with balance that you do in your life. And I think you should always make sure that you take great care of yourself and you keep a handle on the status. You said I smoked them too. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, nah, but I mean, you said what's wrong with smoking? I don't like smoking paper. It make me cough too much. It make me cough too much and I don't like it. I'd rather not smoke at all than smoke paper. That's that's like that's like having sex with a condom or something. I I rather, I rather not have sex at all than have sex with a condom. You're not about to do me like that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you you're not about to take away my. I rather just I'm good. Hey, I'm there. I don't like half ass enough, and I do. It's like no, I'm just saying that to say them papers be making me cough too much. I don't fuck with them. But the words do me right. It just depends on the leaf because sometimes the leaf can be old and brittle. And what happens is, as when you know when you burn in a leaf, these are chemical reactions that are taking place. Specifically a process called oxidation, which is when oxygen atoms are burning at a high rate. That's what fire is. Fire is nothing but oxygen. That's why if you smother it, it goes out because there's no oxygen to propel the chemical reactions. So when I'm lighting this, if, if this leaf is too brittle and airy, what happens is the combustion rate of the chemical reaction while you burn in it goes too high. And it, and it lets out too many C, CO2 chemicals. And what happens is you cough because your, your lungs can only process a certain amount. Like when you breathe in smoke, this is what I'm saying to know so that you're not just smoking your life away. Like pay attention. When you smoking, your, your lungs actually produce about four times the amount of an immune response that's required to kill off the smoke. So technically, you should not be able to catch cancer from smoking these. You shouldn't be able to if your immune system is healthy. Because your immune system literally, as you breathe in smoke, y'all can look this up. I'll, I'll do a lecture on it if you would like and show you where I learned it. But it, as you breathe in smoke, your, your, your break, your, your, your brachial system, your tracheal system, all of those produced immunal, uh, immunal glands. They have immunal glands that produce atoms that go out and fight this, this smoke. And they do this at a rate of about four times faster than you can inhale the smoke. So, like I said, the only way that you could, like, get cancer or die from smoking is if you already have a crippled immune system. Like, like you have to smoke and eat eggs and cheese and, you know what I'm saying, and don't drink no water, be dehydrated. And, you know what I'm saying, that's why I'm saying when you get sick and stuff, it's a, um, you said I used to only smoke wood, so I dig it. Yeah, um, when you get sick, it's a, it's a compound thing. It's never like... Yo, I went outside in the cold and I got sick. Like, that's not how getting sick We're Getting sick, you have to have several ele elements take place at once. This is why they need you to eat so much. Because everything that you eat goes through your body and it clogs up your arteries in different places. And it just opens the door for sickness somewhere. Like, you know what I'm saying? So when you go out in the cold, that slows down the atoms of your body. Everybody knows the difference between cold and hot is temperament, right? Temperature is what? That's, meld in cal that's measured in kelvins, which is essentially how quickly atoms are moving, how quickly electricity or electrons are moving from one point to another, right? So when something is colder, that literally means it's dying. Like that literally means it's, it can't move as fast, right? <clears throat> so if you have an immune system that's designed to go out and hunt down people and kill them as they're trying to hurt you, and you get cold, those people moving slower now. So now your immune system is moving slower. It's not that being cold makes you sick. It's just that being cold cripples your immune system and makes your immune system not work as hard. Just like AIDS and HIV, that's what that does to you. Like the virus of HIV goes into each one of your cells. That's called a provirus. Proviruses, they go into each one of your cells and they input DNA instructions. These are called RNA viruses. They go in, this is... They go into your cells and they give specific instructions to your cells to do things. And they normally tell them to shut the fuck up and don't do nothing. And that's and when they do that, that's when they sit back and watch everything that happened. So all of the immune cells that's supposed to be protecting you from a cold, they just sit back and let niggas in the door. Security chilling. Security about to spark up the blood with me. Security like shit. 
<laughs> let whoever in. So they running in the cells doing whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? And this is when you get cancer or tumor, right? A cancer is a tumor. In fact, if you look up cancer, which is oncology, if you look up the etymology of the word oncology, which is what cancer comes from, you'll see that onco actually means tumor. So tumor, tumor actually is a tumor and cancer are the same thing. Tumor is just a variation of a cancer. You know what I'm saying? But they all are bloodborne as well. You know what I'm saying? Any any sickness or disease that you get is gonna be um, initially like based on your blood and and the ability of your organs because that's where all sickness comes from because that's where all sickness is stopped. By your blood and your organs. Your blood is your biggest defense. It's you. It's a liquid form of you. You know what I'm saying? Like your blood is literally like you. <laughs> Let me read some comments. My apologies, family. Give me two seconds. <clears throat> you said, what causes your skin to be the color that it is? Oxidation. I mean, this is my... All right, so that's a little deep question, Re Akahar. Okay? Because carbon is naturally dark, right? Carbon is naturally the color that we are, right? But, but it but it changes color when you introduce it to air, when you introduce it to oxygen, right? Now it said that we were different colors once upon a time, right? It said that we were green, red, purple, and all that, right? Now we are made out of carbon, as any living thing under the sun is made out of carbon. Any natural living thing. So if you consider yourself natural to this planet, you are made out of carbon, right? Now, what happens to carbon when you introduce it to oxygen, right? It turns brown. It does something called rust or oxi what they call oxidate, right? It's called rust if it's a, a metalloid or a metallic-based element. So if you have like iron or steel and oxygen pulls from it because oxygen can pull electrons, when oxygen does that, it brittles away the atoms that are left and it creates something called rust or decomposition of metal, right? When oxygen or when air does this to <clears throat> um bro why did i just forget everything my apology like i just forgot what we was talking about when air does this to your skin when it does it to oxygen i mean when it does it to carbon that is in the form we are in because you got to understand everything has different forms based on how fast the atoms are moving right like this is solid because of the the the, the rate that the atoms are moving but if i combust this and put fire under it like this this whole thing will melt. This whole plastic thing will turn into liquid because the atoms are being sped up at a faster rate. So it creates a different state of matter. So the matter is in a different state. The state of matter that the carbon that we are is in, that state of matter, when it reacts with oxygen, this, this turns brown. It creates a browning, right? So it would make sense that we're brown. And if you look up something called the Great Oxidation Event, I always try to tell people this whenever I can, right? Look up the Great Oxidation Event. They will let you know that oxygen was not always here. And oxygen is not even natural to this planet. Mm. That's deep, ain't it? Ain't that deep? Now, what's natural to this planet is actually hydrogen. Now, what is hydrogen called in the science world? Hydrogen is called water, right? Now, in the Bible, they told you they divided the waters, right? And they say something about dividing the waters, right? Now, if we were looking at that from a science standpoint, wouldn't it make sense to say that if you were, say, replacing the entire atmosphere's hydrogen presence with oxygen and changing that? So you would be dividing the water. Let's say you put oxygen between the water, creating, say, a bubble, right? A huge ass bubble, right? That would be dividing the waters. I mean, there's different ways to look at it, but that's just my perspective. I got all of that from the one question, what causes your skin to be the color that it is? All right, my apologies. You said, I used to only smoke woods. I could dig it. Wow, interesting. You said, what causes your skin to be the, oh, you said it again. Okay. All right. Then you said, why consume fire anyway? It is, it still in infringes upon your you rather than your immune system is strong or not um yeah i mean that's a good question that question is like saying like why eat broccoli you know what i'm saying because broccoli is an unnatural plant that was created in a lab in holland 
and broccoli is and like cauliflower is all deficient which is why it's so lightly colored and it's damn near white when you steam it for too long because it has no nutrients in it so one could ask like why are you eating broccoli doesn't have any nutrients in it the thing is we are in a lesser of two billion evils kind of situation right like there ain't really nothing you go and eat that's good for you like at this point i mean they've they've even they've even contaminated the air like you know what i'm saying through contrails so at the end of the day you're not getting around that and then they contaminated all the water supply and the water supply is used to hydrate the plants so like like i'm saying there's no way to get around that so what it is is a, a just a decision on what you are willing to work with you know what i'm saying in my case um i'm willing to i'm willing to 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 smoke because i cuz i would rather not smoke at all you know what i'm saying so what i'm willing to do that's why i work like i do like you know what i'm saying when you exercise exercise and prevents cancer like exercise and actually forces your body your body's immune system to work i'm trying to get to the other comments too my apologies but Exercise forces your your body's immune system to work. So that's why I wake up every day and I do 200 push-ups. And then before I go to bed, I do 200 more push-ups. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I also do curls. And then I also do planks. You know what I'm saying? And then I also play basketball every week. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about for hours running back and forth in the sun. Like, so I, I keep my body at a point where this ain't going to hurt me. Don't worry. <laughs> this might hurt somebody who work in a car center that sit at a desk all day for 10 hours and don't do nothing but eat sodas and drink, you know what I'm saying, milkshakes and, you know what I'm saying, that person would get cancer from this. Because what would happen is when they smoke this, their immune system would not be able to keep up with the rate at which this is. And they're also eating other things too. Like I keep track of what I eat. I keep track of every, you know what I'm saying, like I, there's no surprises with me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I haven't been to a doctor in 15, 20 years and I have no sicknesses and diseases. And I can outrun and outperform teenagers. And I'm almost 40. You know what I'm saying? Because I actually treat my body with respect. And I, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I, and I take care of myself. And I educate myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I make sure that I'm aware of things. And I make smart decisions for the most part. Like, I, you know, I try to make, not smart, but informed. I try to make informed decisions. He said, if you just, <clears throat> if you just said you wouldn't be surprised if you get cancer from it, then that would mean that. You know it doesn't matter if your immune system is strong or not because consuming fire still. So, so no, it wouldn't mean that. What, what that would mean is that I know that majority of people don't take care of themselves. So what you were assuming was that my perspective was that this is just most likely going to give people cancer. And that's not the case. What my perspective was is that most people who consume this are likely to get cancer. Whether it be from this, whether it be from sugar, whether it be from hot dogs, chicken, like whatever it is. Because it's not just this that causes cancer, it's everything else you eat into. So what it is, is just a clogging of your arteries to a degree where your immune system can't travel through it. And then it com compartmentalizes in certain areas of the body until it forms enough of a sickness of mucus and stuff. So, you know... Um, I get what you were saying. I just, I just wanted you. I ain't trying to argue what you need, but I just wanted you to know. I get what you were saying, but I don't, I don't think that's quite what I meant. I ain't really mean like, um, like that. You know what I'm saying? What you were saying? Um, hold up. You said carbon changes color due from light. Carbon is still melanin, bro. That's not true. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. If you saying carbon is still melanin, the reason you saying that is because you probably did a Google search and looked up what the chemical properties or what the chemical what the chemical name for melanin is, which does include carbon, right? But see, this is why you got to know what isotopes are. See, don't think I'm a fool, okay? I hear what you're saying, but don't think I'm a fool, please, okay? Are you familiar with what isotopes are? Are you familiar with a carbon isotope? Are you familiar with the fact that all, all allotropes of carbon are not natural carbon? You see what I'm saying? See, this is this is where this is where you gotta ask questions instead of just just coming at me like that. But I'm I'm gonna read what you're saying and I'm gonna address it. All right, you said carbon changes color due from light, right? Now, what is light? Let me ask you a question. What is light, right? Is light not vibration? Is light not vibration, right? Light is vibration, right? Right. 
So what is vibration and how is how is vibration measured, right? I'm going to tell you what vibration is. Vibration is frequency. Vibration is frequency. And when you're talking about frequency, you're talking about the rate of change. You're talking about how frequent something is happening, right? So when you're talking about light and you're talking about light being vibration and you're talking about vibration being frequency, what is the frequency of what? Wh the frequency of what, right? We're talking about the frequency of how fast the atoms are moving, right? Right? So what change is that? Right? What change is that? The temperature, right? Which is what fire does and the sun does as well. So, so when you say carbon changes color due from light, yes, it does. It does because the vibration of the light, it's not technically light. It's the, it's the vibration of the atoms that are being shot out from light through the photo. There, there's, there's specific, um, like, um, that I forget what they call proton, photons, the specific photon atoms. They don't they don't hold a charge, so they, they don't actually charge you up, but they still communicate. So this is how your DNA should be able to eat from the sun. Because they don't they don't necessarily give you electrons, but they give you they give you mass and they give you the ability to hold more of something. So they're kinda like a support. Alright, my apologies. You said melanin is carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen. Right. So what that tells me is you Googled what is the chemical trait of melanin and it's gonna tell you C O Yeah, it's gonna tell you that. But 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 what is all right, so all right, so I, you know what I would say? All right, so it seems like you're in defense of the fact that melanin is an organic chemical that comes from nature and that is and that is natural, right? Let let's let's have the conversation. Cause I love it when I love it when people believe in melanin, because that way I could I could talk to you. You say you explain it again. Okay. You say you're basically explaining what melanin is. <laughs> I don't know why you... You said slow down because you just jumping from subject to subject. I'm still trying to figure out how are you saying that the Negroid race is not melanin dominant. I'm trying to figure out why you saying they are. Did you see like a Black Panther commercial or something? Because the, the word melanin wasn't even around before 1800s because they made that up over in Russia. So why do you think we got melanin? That's my that's my first question to you. Who told you that? Who told you that? Where you get that from? Just 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 tell me when's the first time you ever heard the word melanin? What was it? A TV commercial? Cuz cuz they telling every every black person that I that I have ears that we got melanin, nigga. That ain't, they ain't hiding it. They ain't trying to cover it up. When you ever known them to do something good for black people? When you ever known them to do Now you telling me they just they just want to support but they just want us all to know that melanin is our greatest they just want us to embrace our melon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you want to believe that, bro, sometimes you you don't need... Sometimes you can tell what's right or wrong just by what's going on. Like, like if your worst enemy is trying to give you a cheesecake as a gift, you don't have to go figure out if that cheesecake is poisoned. Like, what are you, ta what are you talking about? Like, you have to just use common sense. So if, if they telling us... Black people, y'all have melanin. Look, let's give them millions of dollars. Let's start, just like they did the BLM thing, right? And BLM was started by who? White people, right? But they going, black people, melanin, yeah, let's make shirts, yeah. Oh, give you grants, $20,000. Anybody that'll make melanin stuff, we just give them money. Nigga, there's government grants for this if you say if you say black people got melanin. Like, they giving that shit away. Now, there is no scientific function of melanin. To ask me, all right, so here, here's my question. Let me, let me read the rest of your comments, and then I'm going to get to where I want you to, I, I need you to explain something to me if you believe we got melanin. Hold on real quick. You said, I stopped smoking. I run off them building on it. I started five years ago. You said, carbon isn't everything, brother. Melanin is, is either recessive or dominant, and carbon is in melanin. What you explained about why we are the color that we are, you said something about oxygen. Which is also in melanin. Oh my god, bro! You know you gotta study biochemistry, bro. I hear what you're saying. I, first of all, oxygen is not natural. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. They don't even know how oxygen got here. Okay, so that that just be aware of that they don't even know how oxygen got here. They they just say I don't know. Somehow it, it popped up. That, that and that's called the Great Oxidation Event in science. But um, I don't be, I don't really believe that we're supposed to be dealing with oxygen. That's something that I think they gave us so that we could die. Because the vibration of oxygen actually drains you. Oxygen is a electron diffuser. Like it, it actually pulls electrons from you. It's acidic. Which is why it causes rust. My uncle didn't even smoke and got cancer. Yeah, I mean cancer, you know, cancer's caused from everything though. Even your clothes cause cancer. Like it, 
everything is you said smoking make you look older in the face at least for me it does skin yeah i mean everybody the thing is everybody have different things it's a million different things that make people look different ways like look at me i feel like i look pretty young to be to be 40 but at the end of the day i smoke and somebody would say something different like you know people used to say i i smoked because my lips was black i didn't start smoking until i was 23 or like 22 23 but my lips was black all through high school. And people used to tell me they know I smoke because my lips black. Like, it's just certain things people say, bro. You just got to let that shit go. Like, oh, you having a baby boy because you hanging low. So that means you having a baby. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. You do not study the anatomy. You don't know shit about placentas. You don't know shit about the way it works inside the body. But you, oh, I know you having a boy because you been hanging. Come on. Some people, they just say shit. This shit is like, you just got to pay them no attention. You know what I'm saying? People don't really know shit. They just say shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like. Um, you said, look up what is carbon. Why would I need to look up what is carbon? I just explained to you. Look up what carbon. You tell me what carbon 12 is. Tell me what the difference between carbon 12 and carbon 9 is. And then explain to me what carbon diffusion is. And then explain to me what electron diffusion is. And how that works at a quantum level in a quantum field. When you exchange an energy. Because this, this is first of all what you need to know before we even get to all of this. Because if you don't know about that, then you won't know how to tell an allotrope of carbon. And what carbon is real or not. Because you're not familiar with the amount of electrons that a real carbon atom has that lines up with other energy. Because the carbon atoms that they're talking about, which are not natural, they're produced through other, other forms, like melanin is, because you can't find melanin in nature. You can only find melanin through a byproduct of an unnatural creation, such as a cow, for instance, right? You can't find melanin unless you find a embryonic cell that is eukaryotic, which they don't know where it came from. So it's not a natural thing. Like some of the, con I mean, I don't, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said, you said carbon changes color. You just said oxygen. Yes, I agree. It rusts and turns into copper color. Science proves it. What? You said if you want to be technical, carbon just came around as well. How you figure that? Why are you saying that? The, the word carbon just came around as well. I mean, all right. So here, here's the thing. The, I agree with you. I agree with you. I actually do agree with you. So they're all just words. They're all just words, right? But here's the difference. The word carbon is describing a specific chemical element, which can, a biochemical element, because this is a, li a living thing. So... Carbon is specifically describing biochemical elements that can be found in nature. You can't find melanin in nature. Tell me where melanin is in nature. Can you do that? Tell me where it is. Tell me where it is. Tell me, listen, when, you, when your body has anything, right? What are the chemicals? This is what I wanted you to tell me, Mr. Mr. We Got Melanin, right? Your body produces these things called minerals and and and. For the most part, minerals, right? So let, let's just use a couple, right? What are some? You got iron, right? You got potassium, right? You're familiar with some of these things. You got calcium, right? <laughs> Where do these things come from, right? Because we are. you got to understand how deep this is, brother. You got to understand we are one with the planet. There's no difference between us and the planet. We made out of the same stones and rocks they made out of. So where does calcium come from? Calcite. Right? Calcite is a rock. That's where you get calcium from. Now, you can also get it from a cow, apparently. But where do cows come from? Cows were made in a lab. So what they did was manage to create beings that can suffice as an alternative chemical reactor, right? So you can actually create chemicals within an animal that you unnaturally created and have it form biochemical reactions with these other chemicals to produce other chemicals and then call those chemicals natural. <clears throat> That's what you got with melanin. So what I'm saying is you ain't going to find melanin nowhere in a forest. You're going to find carbon there because everything is made out of carbon. Nigga, trees, rocks, everything is made out of carbon because it's natural. It grows under the sun. You're going to find potassium. Because potassium comes from specific specific elements that are in nature. You know what I'm saying? You're going to find iron. Iron comes from the sun. 
<laughs> the sun itself is iron. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you're not going to find that if you put any of these natural things in the sun, they're going to diminish or be destroyed. You know why? Because the sun don't destroy its motherfucking self. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? The sun don't beat down and destroy itself. Like, we don't destroy ourselves. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't wake up and then breathe and your and your breath eats through your body. Like, you know, because your body's not designed to produce things that are self-inflicting of harm. Like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, right? So why is melanin attacked by the sun? That's my next question. Why is melanin attacked by the sun? And where can melanin be found in nature? Like from a like a tree, a rock, water. Like where is melanin at? Where we go scoop that up and look at it? You said you correct. It's due from our breathing. Carbon rust when oxidized. It makes you brown. This is why ancient Egyptians was originally green. Carbon-12 is heavier than carbon-9. Okay, yes, because it has more uh, It has more of a negative charge. Right, which means it pulls atoms. Yeah, I mean, I like that you looked at it. I don't know if you look at it. Hey, that's good. I'm trying to let you know I'm not stupid. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to let you know, because some of the stuff you're saying, I'm like, bro, think I'm like underrated. Like He think I'm undereducated. Like You think I'm just saying shit, bro. I study quantum physics. You know what I'm saying? I'm not dumb. I know I know what I'm saying, what a carbon atom is, what it is, and what it does. I mean, and if I don't, I'm going to learn right now. So I'm going I'm to I'm inquire of you until I know enough to know what I should know. But what I'm not going to do is let anything pass me. You know what I'm saying? Like, no knowledge is getting past me. I'm learning that shit. Let me check the comments out. You said, um, now I got the urge to smoke watching you without going. Hey, look, now check this out. Agent, now I'll pull up. Let's smoke one. Let me pull up. I'm going to pull up. Pull up and smoke one with you. Too late now. Yep, too late. Matter of fact, let's pull up at Papa John's and roll one up. I'm going to pull up outside Papa John's. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna roll one up. And then when they walk by, be like, yo, y'all niggas crazy. What's up with y'all niggas, y'all? How y'all niggas doing? Nigga, you all right? Oh, all right, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We ain't <laughs> doing like that. That's petty, though. You said let's stay on the, stay on the topic of melanin, bro. I don't want to talk. I don't really want to stay on the topic of melanin because it's a waste of my time. I did a two-hour lecture explaining it. You haven't, you haven't really answered any of the questions that I don't have to prove that we have melanin. You do. I, I already know we have carbon. So, because everything that's biological that lives under the sun is made of carbon. So, unless you don't consider yourself biological or living under the sun, you know you're made of carbon. Now, the part where you're saying you're made of melanin, <laughs> I mean, everything has carbon. So, if you're saying, I know I'm made of melanin because it has carbon, I mean... Apples have carbon. Are you made of apples? Like, are you an apple? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga said, I know I got melanin because it got carbon. Like, okay, well, every tree's got carbon. Are you made of, are you a tree? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, in addition to the, listen, carbon is just the type of atom, but they, they have different types of, of cells. So it's either prokaryotic or eukaryotic. You know what I'm saying? And like, certain, certain, melanin is a eukaryotic cell, which is why I get killed under the sun. It's produced in something called a, a, a neural germ crust. And the sun, by definition, destroys germs. I mean, if you look up, look up what UV is or look up what UVGI is, UVC is going to tell you it is a germicidal irradiator, meaning if anything is a germ, it, eradic it eradicates it. It gets rid of it. Melanin is literally produced in something called the germ crust. <laughs> it's, called, it's called the neural germ crust. Now, I was like, all right, maybe I'm tripping. It's probably some more that I don't know about this. They calling it germ for some other reason, not because it's a germ. You know, because I was like, that can't be right. Like, I was actually serious, like, yo, something's up here. Like, why would they call it a germ? We all know the sun don't deal with germs. Like, what this about? This something different. And I thought I was missing something. Still haven't connected that dot. You said carbon, but what, what makes you, what makes the leaves green? Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll makes leaves green. Because chlorophyll is the blood. Of le of plants.
and they are located inside of something called chloroplasts. I actually do a little bit of botany study as well, so I know a little bit about plants. But we are very similar to plants. They have veins like us, you know what I'm saying? They have blood, which is known as chlorophyll. And um, that that is what gives them their green color because their blood actually oxidizes and pulls energy through photosynthesis, through through the ability through magnesium, I believe it is. I, it, it's been a while since I studied that, but I think magnesium is the is the element that they use to pull energy from light photons or to create energy using them or something i don't know you can look that up i don't i don't know <laughs> i apologize i'm gonna be honest i don't know <clears throat> i mean i'm always honest but you know what i'm saying say chlorophyll makes the trees green right exactly you said and and melanin dominance makes you darker we also have chlorophyll. But our skin isn't green due to the pineal gland producing melanin. Oh my God. <laughs> so melanin is produced by the pineal gland. Bro, I want to bring you on. I wanna, can I bring you on, bro? Bro, can I bring you on, please? Because like... Doing this over, <laughs> doing this over messaging is a little tough, but I, I got questions that I just, cause I mean, I guess you know them. I, I want to ask you some questions. You said, so we can agree that carbon changes color due to different elements being <clears throat> combined with the structure. No, I wouldn't agree with that. I, I would say it changes, it changes color from certain chemical reactions due to circumstantial changes of the environment. Like you gotta change the temperature, you know what I'm saying? You gotta change like the atmosphere, the moisture, which would be, I guess you saying, mix it in with chemicals. So like H2O, hydrogen, if you mix hydrogen with carbon, what happens? These, these, this is what a carbohydrate is. So that, you know, carbohydrate is a, a carbon atom and a hydrogen atom combined. Now they, they combine in different ways when you, it, it, it goes deeper than that because it depends on to which way you combine them and how you combine them. There are natural ways to do it and then there's unnatural ways to do it that they do it. You know what I'm saying? And this is what I'm saying. <laughs> this, is, this is why I'm saying a person who doesn't take the time to just learn about biochemistry instead of trying to just know it off of what somebody said or something, you're going you, you gonna to stumble over some things because there's some things that you'll know on a level deeper than what, what it is that you, you, you're speaking on. But like I'm just saying like um but I'm just trying to make sure I'm <clears throat> equivalent to melanin. That's the end of that word. That wood hitting. <laughs> she said that wood hitting. She said what makes what makes the tree brown color and the leaves are green because of chlorophyll. So the tree's brown color would be a variation of carbon when it's at that vibratory state, right? So like, that's a very dense, low vibration of carbon because it's solid. Like any, you know, solid is a very low vibration. It gets, when it gets higher, you convert states. You convert to like a liquid, a gas, you know what I'm saying? Plasma. So when you're talking about a carbon atom that's in a state that a tree is in, that's gonna be a low vibratory state. I mean, if you melt the tree, you'll see it turn colors because you're changing the state of the carbon. But I would just say um, that base, what was the question? What makes the tree brown color? And the leaves are green because of chlorophyll, but the tree is brown because of high levels of melanin. Melanin is in the trees? That's what you believe? What? What is, why are you, what, okay, what is, what is it that is leading you to believe that that melanin is in the trees. Why would you say that? You said melanin is found in everything just like carbon. Why are you saying that? That I'm just wondering what scientific study, like who, I've never heard that. You said y'all both are educated, but it's, it's only one right answer. Right, because it ain't about nobody's opinion. You said I have a class and a few on here for a while. Should I have a class? I feel. 
I'm, I'm only here for a while. Oh, okay, I feel you. Well, look, like I said, I still appreciate you coming in though, and and, and I and I still, and I still, I still appreciate the fact that you was um. You said I want to hear your point. I don't, I don't understand your your your, your um your view. Yeah, I mean, same with me. I don't want nobody to think that I'm like one of them people who like, yeah, I said what it is, and I said like, no, I'm I'm with I'm I'm listen. I was on a debate team in school. I'm all with intellectual discussion. Because I actually am really interested to know, like, why it is that you are saying that melanin is in trees. I mean, I've never come across that. Um, oh, shoot. I done messed up my comments, y'all. Now I can't see the comments. He says, sounds like melanin is the chemical of life. Oh, wow. Melanin is, is the chemical of life, huh? So let me ask you this, right? Let's just look at it from a common sense standpoint. We don't even gotta look at science, right? Can we do we do we understand that melanin is a defense to the sun? Do we do we understand that melanin is in in defense to the sun? If not, let me share my screen and let's pull up melanin. And let's pull up what it says about melanin and how melanin reacts when the sun is introduced to it. Right? So I want let's take this step by step. I just wanna know. What is your perspective on what melanin's interaction with the sun directly is? Like, is melanin and the sun friends, or do they fight one another? <laughs> I know Jordan. <laughs> Even when you look up melanin, the first thing it's going to tell you is that animals have it. I mean, like literally, bro, you can look up melanin right now, it's gonna tell you animals have it. So niggas believe that we the same as animals. And the animals that have it weren't even existing more than, you know, some of them hundreds of years ago, they were just created. <clears throat> I mean, that would mean that whoever created the animals is our creator. Would it not? I mean, if they were able to reproduce exactly what we are, I mean, I think that that would mean that they created us or had to do with it. But I don't see any evidence of that happening. So every time I get, you know, these people who are in support of melanin, I never hear them. Um, and it's not that I'm trying to start any beef or anything. I, I appreciate the fact that they were willing to come on and, and, and speak. But it's just they never um, give any scientific, like, you know what I'm saying, responses. it just be like, no, we do because, and then it's insert some regurgitated statement that I've heard, like, other big influences that everybody follows say. And I'd be like, okay, well, what's the science behind that? Because any, you know, any mineral or, uh, you know, essential mineral that the body needs the body has a way to reproduce that and get it in nature you know what i'm saying like without labs and without you know unnatural scientists creating it so if if everything burned down and we just here on the planet how do we how do we get melanin like you know what i'm saying and 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 the person that was in here made a statement and said oh the pineal gland produces it <clears throat> the pineal gland produces melanin Mm. I mean, there's just so many things wrong with that statement. But like I said, um, I was I'm open to to hear any you know intellectual debate as it relates to it because like I said, I want to make sure that I I fully understand and I'm I'm not missing something. I mean, you know, my viewpoint is in line with um, the great doctor, so I don't I don't um, see why people rock with him if they you know, disagree with me because that would mean you think he don't know what he's talking about. Or at least, you know, some people like to try to compartmentalize what they rock with and what they don't. Like, oh, no, he just don't know what he's talking about when it comes to melanin. But everything else, you know, he, he was spot on. You know what I'm saying? It's like he used the same <coughs> uh, formulaic way of thinking, the same formulaic approach to analyzing and dissecting the information he was coming across. He used that um, for melanin as, as well as the other plants. So. I don't know why you would support one and not the other. You said, I, AJ, I just sent you live to my online sisters. I'm successful, and she's in here as well. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, shout out to you, um, 
Unsuccessfully programmed. I appreciate you coming into the live. <clears throat> I'm really just on here kicking it. I ain't really have anything in particular I was talking about or nothing. I just jumped on here because I was smoking for a minute and I ended up being on here so far for it looked like an hour and 15 minutes. <clears throat> I talk about a lot of stuff. I mean, I just kind of speak on whatever come to mind. So, um, unstoppable if it's, um, I mean, my apologies, unsuccessful if it's anything in particular you would have, you know what I'm saying, wanted to address or speak on, feel free. I have more questions or anything, but <clears throat> yeah, man. Yeah. Says science is is I ain't mean to say unstoppable family, my apology. He says science is studying and observing, not like we disagree though. I usually just contribute to building. <clears throat> yeah, I mean it is studying, but the thing with the thing about it is science is not supposed to leave room for opinion. The problem with science is a lot of people they like to blend in opinion with science. So, so even though, <laughs> you know, science is, yo, when we put this water into this pot and we set it to 200 degrees, it boils this high. That's it. It don't matter if you like that, if you don't like that, if you like, well, I don't think it's supposed to boil. I, my man said it don't boil. It's like, yo, it don't really matter what you think. That's what happens. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what we tell. Now, from what we can tell, from what we can tell, um, you know, with melanin, when you when you put it into the sun under UVC rays, it forms a protective coating from the sun and it tries to shield itself and it creates a dark layer on the outside of itself to prevent the sun from getting to it. And if the sun manages to get to it, it creates something called melanoma, which is what happens when these unnatural atoms in the melanin try to bond with the sun, it don't like it. It performs something called UVGI, which is ultraviolet germicidal irradiation. And this is why I just saw an article today talking about the heat has been responsible for the deaths of, you know, so many and they don't know what's going on, you know. It's not necessarily the heat, it's the vibration, but it is measured in heat, you know what I mean, the temperament, but the vibration is one that does not vibe with certain chemical structures. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I can't get with the whole idea that we have it in. <clears throat> you said alchemy? What's up, um, what's up, Miss Savage to you? I appreciate you for coming into the live. I am Chief Fun uh Chief Thunder. <coughs> Thunder Tongue, I appreciate you for coming into the live as well. Shout out to everybody. He said, can you tell me the sun? Can you tell the sun has... Hold on. Jeez. Can you tell the sun has intensified the last few months or so? He said the heat hitting different this year, but I feel like a massage. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I definitely... um, <laughs> I definitely can tell <clears throat> um, a change, but I mean... As of recent, like as of late, I haven't paid specific attention to it, honestly. I'm I'm outside in the sun all day anyway. But um, the main time I pay attention to it is on Sunday when I play basketball because I'm out in the sun, direct heat for six, seven hours balling. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely notice it. You know what I mean? I love it. Um, I love it, man. It's just, it's what, it's what. You know, it's what I am. It makes me feel proud to be who I am, man. It's, you know, my whole life I wonder why they don't like us. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's that. <laughs> like, it's you know what I mean? It's it's a, a reassurance and a revitalization of uh, confidence in, in my, you know, in what I am. Physically, at least.
Yeah, my cousin there, he said the hoop session coming. You already know we be out there. My cousin be out there running with me. Yeah, he, he you know, he you already know he an organic being, but you know, when we get out there running like that, man, it's <clears throat> it do something to you. I don't even think our brothers realize what's happening out there, man. It it really heals you to be out there. It really gives you a, a level of energy in your body, you know what I'm saying, internally. It's not like something where you go out there and run and then you feel powered up. You feel drained, actually. But there's a high level of chemical reactions going on in your body. Like, that's why you feel so drained. And these things are all building you up to be stronger and killing off shit that don't belong there. Like, it's like it's like putting you in a vacuum of, you know what I'm saying, chemical reactions while you're in the sun. Especially if you're running. That's why it's called exercising. Like, you, you really getting rid of negative vibes that are in you. Ultraviolet, germicidal, radiation, you know what I'm saying? So, we doing a great thing by being out there hooping. I like to try to get bros out there as much as I can. I love the fact that, you know what I'm saying, that we can come out there and then we be, you know, for the most part peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Every now and again you have a little squabble, but that's just because of how how it is when we out there hooping. You already know how that is, you know. But But yeah, like I said, you know, um it's it's a special time for us to be out. Yeah, it definitely is. It definitely is. You said it's crazy that you say that. <clears throat> you say that because I definitely feel much better when I'm active and playing basketball. Oh my God. <laughs> he said my nigga ass. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, honestly, when I go, yo, know, it's been times where I've been sick and in the bed. And I'm talking about when I was younger, like back when I used to hoop, <clears throat> when I was like in my 20s and shit. I'll be sick and in the bed, coughing and all of that. And I'm like, man, okay, go hoop, man. And I still get up and go hoop anyway because I'm just, I'm a baller. You know, all of my ballers, what's up? What's up to everybody who in here? There's nine people in here. All of my ballers, y'all know how we do. We go out there, we hoop in the rain, sleep, whatever, right? I go out there and hoop with my cough. And then five, ten minutes later, I don't even feel the cough no more. I'm just hooping. You know what I'm saying? And then I don't even, you know what I'm saying? And I notice I'm good. And then I get back in the house, I lay back down, and I'm, I'm I'm feeling sick again. You know what I'm saying? And I never really paid attention to it because as a child, you know what I'm saying, if you don't have nobody to really nurture that thought, or as a youngster more so, I would say, you know what I'm saying, because I wasn't a child, but my brain was definitely not understanding things the way that I do now. If you don't have nobody to nurture that thought and kind of tell you, like, bro, like, that's, that's real shit what's going on with you, bro. Like, for you to be able to go out there, like, you know what I'm saying, you got really appreciate that. Like, it's a lot of people who can't hang out there, bro. We be out there, you know what I'm saying? We be out there, Jermaine, you know what I mean? My bro know, my cousin know. We be out there for hours going, man. It's a lot of people they can't hang. Some people play for maybe one, two hours, and then they sit off, or they play for maybe three, and they like, yo, I'm gone. But we be out there, and, and half the time when, I, when I'm when i ready to go, um, or half the time when, when I'm leaving, I'm not ready to go yet. And that be after like five, six hours of hooping. We normally try to get there around 12. And um, we, we be out there till, till maybe four or five, sometimes later, you know what I mean? It just depends on the games because sometimes it's hard to leave. You said look like you quick as fuck and play hard defense and be father like around <laughs> Hey, Jermaine, hey, Jermaine, you see? If my co- I hope my cousin's still in here. I'm gonna pin that comment. Hey Jermaine, I want you comment on that, bro. I play I play with my um my cousin, bro, Jermaine Bird. I I actually be out there with him. <clears throat> Is that accurate, cuz? He said, bro, we we have to hoop. I'm in the same I'm in the same way. He said, I'm the same way. I be feeling alone. Yeah, you hey, where you at? <clears throat> you in Maryland? Rick Rick official, you in Maryland, you in Baltimore, where you at? Because <laughs> if so, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm always down the hoop. <clears throat> I'm always down the hoop. You said wholesale. Wait, holding this family. It's been a while since I've been able to catch you live. Yeah, I don't really be staying live like that that long because, you know what I'm saying? It's like half the stuff I say, people don't really catch it because it's at the end of the live and ain't nobody about to sit through an hour. To, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the only people who really going to watch this is y'all. <laughs> a couple people might, I guess, fast forward through, but even in that case, you ain't going to really catch it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So 
I appreciate everybody that's in here. I got eight people in here now. It was nine that were up. Now they done dropped the seven, six. Damn. Nigga said, look at him. He paying attention to the numbers. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> they said that nigga looking at the numbers. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I should have went live on my herbalist page, but I wanted to, <clears throat> I wanted to rap to y'all, and I knew y'all wasn't going to catch me if I go in the oven. <laughs> so follow the herbalist page. Listen, anybody who like this shit, follow the herbalist page. You know what I'm saying? But I need to start just going live over there anyway, because how else am I going to build up a fucking following? You know what I'm saying? And also introduce myself to everybody. It's just, it's certain it's a it's a, a a strong group of people that I really fuck with on here that I like like to connect with, and I don't want them to miss certain shit. You know, even like the artistry shit that I do on my artist page. Y'all know I'm in the booth. Well, I was in the booth. Um, I I, I did a track with my um good friend of mine slash family member uh, Rebel uh, last night, and I put that up on my artist page. I think I tagged it on this one too. Or I put it in the story, but. I can't wait to record my shit, y'all. Wait till I record my shit. I was just featured on a song that he let me out. Uh... Hold on, let me see what he said. My cousin said something. My cousin said something. He said something back. He said, uh, he said, LOL, hell yeah. Definitely fast to be, uh, thankfully he not a hack. Yeah, that's my, that's, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna be real with you. I feel like, he he honestly described me, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't he wasn't hating on me, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't gotta give him a bucket when he get here. Just to let him know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like no 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 real shit though, like I don't be hacking, but I do play I do play tight defense. Like sometimes like my cousin Jermaine's like sometimes he got he he played under the whistle and he has more he has a higher basketball IQ than me. And so do a lot of people that I play with. But I'm fast, and um, if I get my shot off and I can hit my shot, I'm a threat majorly. Like, and Jermaine know that too. And my defense, I run up on you, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you got the ball, my goal is I'm going to take it. Like, if you know what I'm saying? When, when people get the ball, I'm, I'm like, yo, if you put that ball down, it's mine. As soon as, soon as you go to put that, I'm going to take it. You're going to have to make a move. That's why I don't be letting people just stand there and be, I'd be like, yo, go take that, yo. Like, he, you know what I'm saying? You're going to do something if, if I'm playing you. But at the end of the day, I get I could get left like that, which is which is another issue. So it's like, you know, that's where I think uh, my defense being worked on comes into play. <clears throat> and there's a couple, you know, OGs out there, and, you know. And when Jermaine is in town, you know what I'm saying, my, my cuz be traveling. But when he is in town, you know what I'm saying, I get <clears throat> schooled a little bit by them on certain things that I might could work on or things that I do. I be playing with my um quote unquote father in law. I ain't married, but you know. Yeah, give me like five minutes. Okay. Um but yeah, um hold on. He said now I'm gonna blaze out too. I knew he was fast. <laughs> he gonna follow y'all cause I like. He said I'm 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 gonna follow y'all cause I like y'all live in the in the chat. By the <laughs> yo, I like that. Yo, let me pin that. Yo, the fact that that's on my on my live, I feel like I just generated some positive karma for myself. So whoever end up being friends with I am Chief Thunder Tongue, and y'all build something. I'm going to get some positive reciprocation from the universe for that. Because, you know what I'm saying? That's like residual income. You know what I'm saying? That's like when you refer a nigga, you give him your referral code. You're like, yo, tell him Jay Gibson. 
I apologize. Maybe I'm just. <clears throat> For real shit though, um, you said, oh, you got. You said, oh, you got to know your defense. Here go the, here's the, here's the thing though. I be getting tired. I be getting tired fast. Oh, you do have the other charge. I was looking for the other charge. Um, let me see what, I'm, let me see what my, um, battery like. I got the other one. Oh, okay, okay. For the other, for the charger. Okay. Um, yeah, he said, he said, you play annoying. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it could be annoying, but I get tired fast. That's what I was going to say. Like I get tired fast and, um, that's what I'm really working on my, um, my, 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 my stamina. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm able to go. Like, it's not like when I play, I'm like, uh, yo, I got to sit out a game. I could go back to back, but in game, my stamina, I burn it out pretty fast when I play tight defense or when I focus on getting a bucket. Like, Jermaine, Jermaine could probably tell you what I mean in that, too. Like, if I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm going to get a bucket and I pull out the stop, like, I, you know what I'm saying, I get a bucket, that drain a lot of energy out of me getting that joint. And um, I just I just need to work on dealing with that. It's, it's just breathing. Um, you know what I'm saying? Who's that bro high as hell? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. Ain't that? Ain't that? I feel you though. Yeah. Um. You said it's that Zai. Yeah. Hey Jordan, you be hooping, bro? Said play high school in ninth grade, then I quit. Oh, he said then I quit because in my city, high school is politics, and who you know, yeah. I mean, that's what, yeah, that's what a lot of shit is, especially you know if you would have been trying to go, you know, trying to go pro or whatever. Yeah, bro. Yeah. So yeah, you know that's enough about basketball. <laughs> I'll be hooping or whatever. I wanna get yo, I wanna get back into um to doing the gymnastics. I just haven't really <clears throat> I haven't really did it. You know what I'm saying? Like I haven't really broke it. I've been doing like the little trying to do like little, you know, little stuff to like like y'all see like can y'all see down here? Like we can see down here. Like Like just, you know, from from the from the cross leg like this, out into it. I gotta work on. It's all leg strength. <clears throat> but I wanna get back into like some gymnast type shit so that I can like, on my athlete page, if y'all wanna follow my athlete page, I'm the Thunder. <laughs> Chief Thunder. Um, if you want to follow the athlete page, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> that's a, that's a cool page. <laughs> uh, I want to start putting, like I said, some more backflips and things like that. Gymnastics type stuff on there. I'm going to probably be, um, I'm going to probably be jumping off here in a minute, y'all. Like I said, it was a pleasure jumping on here with everybody. Who on here? Let me see who's there. Let's say five people out right here. We got Joy and Light Skin Blue. Okay, what's up, Light Skin View? What's up, babe? Chandra was in here, I saw for a minute. <clears throat> but, you know, I see my cuz just came in. What's up, DJ BBS? DJ BBS be mixing. Um, You know, like I said, I'm gray. Um, jump off, off chair. This was a long live, man. <laughs> 
this was a long live. I don't know if nobody catch it, but if they do, they do. Um, but yeah, follow the um, follow the athlete page and follow the art- artist page just so that y'all can um, see anything that I upload on there. I'm gonna start putting more content on there. I really just, like I said, did this live because I wanted to try to. <coughs> yeah, I appreciate you. you said great live. I wanted to try to connect with anybody that I could um, who who jumped on here, but. Going forward, like I said, I probably I probably won't do nothing this long on here. I probably start doing the herbal page. You know, um, I want to try to keep this page restricted to fatherly type of content. You know what I'm saying? I try to as best as I can. It's just that a lot of my base, a lot of the people that that I want to talk to are here. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's where I'm at. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember to be positive, <clears throat> be optimistic. And keep positive people in your circle. And those three things are key to ensuring positivity is invited in your future and all that. You know how we rap. Um, I love everybody. I appreciate all of the people who be supporting me and my, my tribe as well. Like, you know, there's sometimes I encounter um, issues and there's certain people who um, have been willing to assist me, you know, in certain cases. Like, you know who you are. Like I said, I appreciate you. And um, everything that I do, like, I really do it with the intent that I that I say that I do. Like, I don't want nobody to think that, like, I'm trying to scam or something. Like, I know that there's several, you know what I'm saying? Like, people that do that different ways. Like, y- y'all see my situation. Like, I'm not, you know. All right. Love y'all. Have a good night. Evening. You know, all that good shit.